it's Thomasina. Welcome back to my channel. And if you're new, thanks for tuning in. I'm a model and content creator, among other things, based in New York. And on my channel, I share lifestyle vlogs about my time in the city as a model. And I also share tips and tricks on how you can become a model if that's something that you're interested in. So with that being said, one thing I personally really struggled with when I first moved to New York for modeling was keeping up with the style, you guys. I came from North Carolina to New York. And if you don't know, the style trend can be very very different and so I was used to kind of doing the bare minimum when it came to my styling in North Carolina and when I moved here I just was not up to par so over time I've definitely added new things into my wardrobe that I feel are kind of like the model staples that every model should have in their wardrobe so that no matter what you always look good you always look on point and I'm gonna share with you guys my 10 staples that every model needs in their wardrobe just to make styling and life a little bit easier. We're going to start with undergarments. It is sad how long it took me to get the appropriate undergarments. First things first, sticky boobs. I like to call them like little chicken cutlets. Can you guys see? Like they literally just stick to your bosom and these are really helpful for nipple coverage. If you are wearing a mesh top or see-through top and you want to be a little more conservative and not have your entire nipple out, these are perfect for that. If you are someone like me, this may be TMI, but I have really pointy nipples, whether I'm cold, whether I'm hot, like they are just always at attention. These will just flatten those babies right out so that you'll have a round, like normal, sh well, I don't want to say normal shape, but you'll have a round bosom and your nipples won't be visible through whatever garment you're wearing. So these are you always want to have these handy even if there's a stylist on set you still want to bring your own especially for my darker complexion girls a lot of times stylists do bring nipple covers for models but oftentimes it is the lighter nude and oftentimes they do not have the darker complexion nude nipple cover so if you are a black model that has a deeper skin tone it is best to just always have your own Everywhere you go, just bring your own. Following along in the undergarment category, every model should have a nude thong and nude seamless underwear if you don't want to wear a thong, but nude that matches your complexion. So when I first entered the industry, I will show you guys the kind of nude underwear that I that I had. This was the color nude that I could find. Even even lighter than this, but I can't find my lighter complexion nude. Uh, but this. This is the color. You guys can see that this is way lighter than my skin complexion. So even if I wore it under a garment, it would still show through the garment because my skin complexion is darker um, than this type of nude. But when I would go to set, the only nude available to me would be the lighter toned nude. We are just now starting to see nudes for darker uh, complexions and deeper skin tones. And this is what I have upgraded to. So these are the Skims Seamless Underwear. Look how much darker this is. And it's showing up darker than my skin complexion, but you guys know sometimes your cheeks are darker than like the rest of your body. So these actually match like perfectly with my complexion. And I'll actually show you guys a photo uh, of the photo shoot I did in this set. Every model needs to have nude undergarments that match their complexion. This is my strapless bra perfect match. This is from Lively. So Skims and Lively both have deeper tones of nude for darker complexions if you guys are looking. Following up with that, of course, you want to have black undergarment options as well. Next, as a model, you should always have a black bikini. The black underwear and bra combo won't do. It's always best to have a black bikini. The bikini always looks more professional in the modeling setting. It's rare that an agency or a brand is going to ask you to send photos in your underwear. They're probably going to just ask you to wear a swimsuit. The swimsuit is more professional than sending digitals in your underwear, so always just go for simple black bikini. I will show you guys my digitals here. All right, now getting into the clothes. You want to have a nice pair of black pants or jeans. So when I first started out, I wore the same pair of high-waisted black skinny jeans to the point where, at this point, they are no longer black. They're kind of like this ashy type uh, color just because I washed them so much. It was my only pair. So I invested in a black leather option. It's packed up in my suitcase right now, but I'll see if I can insert a photo of it. But 
These I know they won't fade because it's like got that leather material and so it just looks more classic, it looks more sophisticated, and it looks more like clean. I feel like when my, my black high-waisted skinny jeans um, became like the ash black as opposed to just the deep dark black, it looked a little dingy. And so as a model you always want to carry yourself in pristine condition. So this could be skinny jean or it could be boot cut, but it needs to be form fitting along with a black pair of pants or jeans. You also want to have some good jean options. Again, quality jeans that fit you, they hug you. Um, obviously not too tight to the point where they look like they're too small, but you want pants that are going to show your shape so that these agencies and clients and brands know what you look like. Next on my list of wardrobe staples for models, we have our body suits. You guys, I cannot believe I lived a life at some point where I was not wearing body suits. I was like tucking my regular t-shirts into my pants and then it would be all like crumbled up in the front along the waistline and it just looked crusty. But when you wear a body suit, it gives you that nice seamless tuck into your jeans. All you gotta do is pull your jeans up and it's just a seamless look. So of course you can have a range of colors but I always like to say at least have a black bodysuit and a white bodysuit. This is inside out but here is an example of a bodysuit. It's the one that like clamps between your between your legs and then here is an example of my long sleeve one. I mean these can be dressed up or dressed down. They're so simple. I like them just because it gives you that sleek seamless look. Next of course a black blazer you guys i wish i had understood the power of a blazer like years ago i was so behind on the fashion time a blazer can take a bleh outfit and make it like 10 times better i am doing this thing now where i wear a blazer with like a regular track suit or sweatsuit and it takes it up like 10 notches you're walking around the city new york fashion week or just seeing models like run into castings like almost every model has like a basic like crop top black jeans then they throw a blazer over it because it takes it up it takes it up a bit it really does i'll show you guys some examples of like casual outfits that are like bumped up a notch with a blazer sticking on trend with the black of course every woman even outside of the modeling industry every woman needs to have a little black dress sometimes you get invited to like the most random events at the most random time on the most random day and sometimes you don't have enough time to put together like a really extravagant outfit but you just pull out that little black dress put you some pumps put on that blazer and it's a whole fit you guys i have so many little black dresses in my closet now where sometimes i don't even really have to think about what i'm wearing because that dress is the outfit in itself like you don't need to need you don't even need to do anything else i will post some examples of like my little black dresses my favorites my go-to's i think out of everything on my list this is my absolute favorite and I only got it like two winters ago. So every winter before that I was looking busted. But thankfully I finally got me a long black overcoat, trench coat. I think it's a trench coat or is it an overcoat? Either way, I think they could be used um, interchangeably. So for now, I'm just going to say a wool trench coat. I invested in a wool trench coat. You guys, it's good quality. So it was not cheap. It was not cheap. If you guys don't know me, um, I'm a pretty frugal person, so it took a lot for me to invest in this coat, but I'm so thankful that I did. I got it from Zara, and it's so basic, and I still always get complimented on it because it just makes your, your entire outfit more sophisticated. Again, you could wear a freaking hoodie, a sweatsuit, a tracksuit, put an overcoat over it, a wool overcoat, and it takes your outfit up 10 notches. And so I was just observing, like, what are the models wearing? Um, and that's what they were wearing. I would show up to castings a few winters ago in my big puffer jacket. It was big, it was bulky, it took up a lot of space, and it just was not cute. Now I show up to castings looking sleek and slender in my wool overcoat. It makes me a little bit more elongated. It's very classy and it's striking. And so you compare the wool overcoat to this big bulky bubble coat. And obviously, like, this one is the winner. So definitely, if you can, invest in a long overcoat, trench coat, whatever. They can be used interchangeably. And a lot of times when it when you're going out and it's cold in the city, people won't even see your outfit underneath because it's so cold and you just keep your coat on the entire time. So if you're going to have your coat on the entire time, at least make it a cute coat. 
All right, now moving on to the shoes. These are five shoe types that I think will make your life a lot easier when it comes to choosing what shoe to wear to a casting or what shoe to wear to an event or like your everyday shoe. But since adding these to my wardrobe, I just feel like it's taken my outfits to a whole nother level. Like even if I'm just wearing like regular blue jeans, I wear one of these shoes and again, it takes it up a few notches. So these are what I feel like are the shoe staples in a model's closet. So of course, first things first, you have your black pump. Very simple, very sleek, very classy. These are likely going to be like your casting shoe. So if you're casting for New York Fashion Week, any runway show, this is likely the shoe that uh, most models are going to be walking in. It's the easiest. You also want to have it in nude. So, bam, literally same exact shoe, just a different color depending on what you're going to wear. But these two are very simple. You can't go wrong with them. From my experience, when I go to castings for New York Fashion Week, um, and like I book the job and they are not providing the shoe, designers often ask for you to bring a black and a nude option. So... These are the best. These are the best to go with. Following that up, a black knee-high boot. It's so sexy, again, so sleek, and it can elevate any look. Following it up with another boot, you have a chunkier heel. So these I wear on like a daily basis. If I'm kind of like just bumming it out, but I want to up my look a little bit, I'll just throw these babies on. And again, it takes my outfit up like 10 notches just because I'm wearing heels. And it's a different texture. So this is like a pleather vibe. The other one was kind of like a velvet or suede vibe. So playing with textures, having variations, it's nice to have both options in your closet. And last but certainly not least, these boots I knew I had to get before I moved to New York officially. I was coming back and forth for castings and literally all the models had these platform boots. And when I was in North Carolina, literally no one was wearing these, so I hadn't seen them before, but I was like, okay, when I move when I move to New York, I'm definitely getting those boots to just walk around and go to like simple castings with because these boots are obviously in right now, but it is your wonderful handy dandy doc martens the platform doc martens to be exact i love these just because they give me height without me having to walk around the city and like five inch stiletto heels it gives me just enough height to kind of be in level with the other models that i'm going to castings with and i get complimented on these a lot like they are so simple here in new york literally everybody wears doc martens and most of the time it's like the same doc martens but for some reason when i wear these like I just get so many compliments. Everybody's like, oh my god, like, where'd you get those from? And I'm like, aren't these the same Doc Martens that, like, every other person is wearing in New York? I don't know. But, hey, y'all like them, I love them. So, definitely recommend getting yourself a pair of platform boots. They don't even have to be name brand. They don't have to be Doc Martens. But just having platform boots, I feel like, are super helpful, um, especially for girls entering the industry that may be a little bit shorter if you wear your doc martens to just like a general casting as opposed to wearing like stiletto heels it gives you a little bit of height without making you look like you're trying too hard these are a must-have so those are the very basic model staples that every model should have in their closet adding these things to my wardrobe has definitely made my model life a lot easier it's so much easier to plan outfits just by going off of these kind of basic level items and then you can build your wardrobe from there and I wish I had someone to tell me when I first started that I would need these items in my wardrobe because it probably would have made things a lot easier and so I hope that you guys found this video helpful and hopefully you guys already have some of these things in your wardrobe then you don't even have much else to do but yeah that about wraps it up for this video I hope you found it helpful to all my aspiring models out there know that you can do this nothing is out of reach what's for you is for you and I wish you the best of luck on your journey as always thank you guys for tuning in and i'll catch you in the next video